Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Natio Island. There are quite a few different locations you could start here, but we're going to keep it simple as always and start at the default location. This is a medium large map. It's a bit too big for me to drive every single road in one video, but you'll be seeing a good majority of the roads. We're going to start off by just driving the D series pickup for a bit and bouncing all over the place. Woo! That was scary. That's a little bit too fast, but it's a lot more fun when you're going a little bit too fast, just bouncing all over the place, not sure if you're going to crash and die or not. That was great. All right, let's see if we can do something fun right here. Oh my goodness, we're going to hit a tree. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. We are clear of the trees. Yes. Wow. Wow. That was so close. I think if we go fast. Oh, goodness. I am going too fast. Oh, that just damaged my truck. We need to go in for repairs. AJ, I'm coming in hot. AJ. See, that's who AJ is. It says AJ is out of repair, and um, he's going to have a lot of work to do to repair this thing, I think. And AJ says, YBR, I can fix your car, but it's going to take a while. So, take my personal 200BX until it's all fixed up. See, that's why AJ is the best. Who else would give me their personal car while my piece of junk pickup truck is being repaired, knowing that I'm probably going to wreck it anyways after seeing how I wrecked the pickup truck? Anyways, off we go in AJ's 200BX. That's the new name. It's AJ's 200BX. It's not the track version of the 200BX. And I bet we can get this thing up to 100 miles per hour through here. No, we can't. No, we can't. Whoa, that got sketchy fast. Okay, try this again. I bet we can get up to 100 miles per hour right here. 100, there we go. And there's a jump right here. We're going to go way too fast for the jump just to have some fun and fly. And we got some good air time right there. And it and I was hoping I'd be able to do a little bit after that, but the drive shaft is completely broken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it all the way back to where we were. And then we're going to try to do the jump without destroying the vehicle. And this is actually a really hard jump because I'm doing it wrong. You're supposed to be doing the jump from the other direction, but I'm already here. So we're going to try to do it from this direction. And let's see how this goes. The tiny landing pad right there at an angle. Oh, we did it. Oh, stop. Oop. Okay, just a little bit of radiator damage. That's not bad. We did the jump itself. That's what's important. And uh, this thing still drives, although dirt roads aren't really its strength. In fact, it's its weakness. So, this thing's destroyed. Let's just uh, finish it off and we'll call up AJ and say, Hey, look, your car just disappeared, man. It, I don't know what happened to it. So, like, right here, here's a ramp. It just disappeared behind the trees. I don't know where the car went, but uh, let me have your other 200BX. And luckily for me, yeah, AJ actually has two 200BXs. So, he's going to give me the new one and he even delivers it to me at uh, the spot we were at before so we'll just say boom he delivered it right here and then we're off in aj's second 200 bx and i'm already in the dirt a little bit he saw me do that and he started to cringe but then he saw me go back on the paved road and everything was okay but he didn't see me do this actually going on the dirt road with his prized secondary race car bouncing all over the place and then we're gonna just floor it on this paved road until we hit something actually we don't even need to hit something if we floor it on this thing we can fly we could fly over a body of water with this car. Probably has enough speed to do it. We're going to hit this thing at like 130 miles per hour. So there we go. And yeah, that is way over it. And uh, even over the trees right there. And that totaled the car. Drive shaft and wheel axles are broken. We can kind of coast it, but I can't even steer. Like I'm trying to go right. Car's going left anyway. So it's just going to roll into the trees. And well, let's just bring it back to the road. And uh, now I know I shouldn't call AJ again because he'd just be mad. So... I find some dude who has an ETK K series and somehow convince him to give me his car. He says, sure. I didn't even care what K series it was. I just wanted a car. We'll back this thing out of here all nice and carefully because he's still watching. And then he's not looking. Go, go, go. Although I can't really go too much with the uh, stability control on it. It really does kind of limit you. Like it just cuts out that power, cuts out that power. I should probably turn it off. But I don't like trying to turn it off in the middle of a drive because I have to let go of the controller that I'm using to steer. And whenever I do that, I always mess up. And I don't have the default binding that does it on the controller. I changed the controls there. We're flying now. And we landed. Drive shaft rear broken already. So I'm like, dude, your car sucks. I'm going to get a different car. So I find another guy who has an old ETK i series. Actually, I don't even find a guy. I just find it on the side of the road. And he's like, wow, this is a rare car. I'm taking it. And then I'm off again in my newest car. Sliding all over the place in this dirt. Once we get to the paved road though, this thing should be really good for that. All right, paved road mode. And we got a few corners right here we gotta be careful with before we can floor it. All right, up to 50 miles per hour and not 60 because I gotta slow down right here. Gotta slow down. I was hoping I could get to 60 before I slowed down, but I didn't wanna take the risk. 
I'm already a little bit all over the place, so I don't want to be driving too fast here. We'll take it calm until I know I can floor it, so wait for it, and go! We're going to be flooring it for a while, and we should be able to get this thing up to like 130 here. This is a really long straight. There are some places where a little bit bumpy you have to watch out for, but I think I cleared most of those already, and... And now all I have to focus on is keeping this thing on the road. We're already at 130 miles per hour, bouncing a little bit. There is some bouncy terrain right here, and I'm able to keep it under control. I think we could cross this bridge, but afterwards there's a tight corner, and I don't have a chance of actually doing this, do I? Nope, 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 we're flying. Woo! Ooh, we're even spinning. Oh, man, I'm going to get dizzy inside this car, and it is going to drown. See, I, I knew this was a rare car, though, so I pulled it out the water. I repaired it. AJ, he's still trying to fix my truck. He's not that good at repairing cars, but he's a really nice guy. Anyhow, I got a brand new one of these, but then I realized, wait a minute, I didn't repair it correctly, so we gotta wreck it again. So I just go to the nearest thing that's not a building, because I respect the people who live in the buildings. And I think if we go over to the left, there might be something interesting right there to crash into. Yes, we got some barriers. We're gonna go right in the middle. Maybe it'll do something interesting like pop us into the air. Yeah. I like that. That was an interesting looking crash. Now I repaired it correctly. AJ's still working on my truck. And we are off! So we're gonna get this thing up to a pretty good speed again because we have another decent straightaway. It's not as long as the one we just drove on, but we can get it up to 100, I would think, through here if I'm careful. I don't wanna. Oh, go off the road! Okay, it's not as straight as I thought it was. We're gonna still reach 100 miles per hour, though. I don't think it'll be easy, but we're gonna do it. So right here, we got a pretty good straightaway. We gotta get up to 100, and okay, we're at 100, and there's no chance of slowing down because I wanna go to 110. Nope, this is bad. Jump the bridge, jump the bridge. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I actually just jumped the bridge. Don't ask me to do that twice in a row because that was almost 100% luck, I would think. And now I've once again wrecked this car and I'm trying to bring it back to AJ. Cause I know he'll fix it up for me and he'll just ask what happened to my 200BX and I was like, I don't know, I lost that one too. So eventually I'm going to get this thing to AJ, except I forgot where AJ was. And now I don't even know where my pickup truck is anymore. And I'm starting to realize the mistakes in my ways. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe I need a different vehicle here. So, I lost my pickup truck. Let's get an off-roader then. We're going to get an Abishu Hopper and we're going to get the Dune Edition, because I'm all about those special editions. And now i got to test out the off-road capabilities of this thing, so we're not even going to do a dirt road. We're just going to go straight off into the dirt over here. Hey, 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 Hopper, don't scare me like that. Don't you even threaten to tip over. I want you to stay flat on the ground so I could use you for a while. All right, come on up that hill. And that was beautiful. That looks a little too steep, isn't it? Let's see. Can we go up this thing? Huh. Huh. No, not happening. Let's just not even try it. If we had lockable differentials, we could have probably made it. Popping a mean wheelie, but I'm scared. I had no front wheels on the ground. That means I had no steering. I love wheelies, but I love steering more. It's kind of interesting over there. Not exactly sure what it is. Maybe it's like a tower that fell over? Huh. Interesting. Oh, look at that, too. There's like a wheel and ancient technology, man. Uh, which way we want to go? How about we just go straight right here? And then we'll keep on following this road for a bit until I hopefully find some dirt road to drive on because I want to do some more off-roading with my hopper. And sometimes the dirt roads are a little bit hard to see, so I'm keeping a real tight eye out for anything interesting. Nothing, though. Just nice... Even paved road. I guess I should be okay with that because paved roads are nice. All right, there's a building up there. How do we get to that building? Uh, is that a dirt road right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the road. Up we go. And it looks like a little tiny church or steeple or something. Yeah, I guess. Except, um, wait a minute. Where's the door? It got no door. How you get in there? You got to hop through the window? And why does it need a window on every single side? That is a weird building. I'm out of here. That building creeps me out. I do have a little bit of damage somehow. You can tell because the car's lean and hard. And I'm just going to look for more off-roading spots. Ooh, is that one right there? Is that one? Yes, it is. I a little bit overshot it, but looks like we could off-road here. Oh, I guarantee you I'm going to tip over here. With the car being a little bit unstable already, it's going to tip over. It's just a matter of when. Although it's doing a really nice job of going over these rocks. Like, these are rough rocks that are bouncing it all over the place, up in the air. And down back into the ground, and it's staying level. Wow. Maybe it won't flip over. I, no, I shouldn't have said that. Now, see? The second I said that, now I got stuck, and I got to try to realign to go around this rock. Between the tree. All right, we still went over the rock a little bit, but we went past it, and we're going to flip over right here. I called it. I knew that was a bad angle coming at it because it was just rocks on the side. And Oh, it actually got itself upright. I was trying that, and I didn't expect it to work, but it actually did. 
There's a little bit of a lag spike right there, but we can keep on going with this thing. Oh, my front fender doesn't like this. It just popped off on me a little bit. Once we get to the top of this, if I'm not mistaken, this is a fun road right here. Let's see here. Is this the road I think it is? Maybe not. It should be like green. Yes, this is the road. All right, here we go. We're going to floor it, and we're going to get to like 100 miles per hour right here, I would think. And then we're just going to fly into some trees. Well, not quite 100, only 90 miles per hour, but right into the trees, as promised. And I am camouflaged up with this tree really good. I can't tell what's car and what's tree at this point. Bring it back down here. And I want to go the opposite way on this because as fun as it is to go down the hill, I think it's even more fun to go up the hill with a high-powered vehicle. So we're going to get the drag version of the Moonhawk. And then we got to do a quick 180 right here. Brakes are kind of acting up like flash, flash, flash. And then we're going to do as fast as we can without losing control of this thing. So we want to do a careful launch and then we just floor it for the rest of the way. And let's fly. It takes off. Like it takes off when you do that thing and that's with no run-up that was just starting at the bottom and using the gas only that is pretty good airtime there and it's a wrecked car so i'll just bring it back down and i'm gonna keep using the moonhawk so we're gonna get a more normal version we get the v8 special and it's not like it's super fast or anything it's just a rare addition of the vehicle oh it, okay it's fast enough to kick its wheels out a bit right there i think maybe that's the car's way of telling me i want to go to the right so well we went to the right as you saw and I don't really know what's on this road, so uh, hopefully you're not betraying me here, Moonhawk. If you bring me to a dead end where it's like I gotta use an off-road vehicle, I am very angry with you. Although I am kind of curious how well we could do this off-road area with this, because it kind of feels like the stuff on Small Island USA, where as long as you avoid the rocks, you could probably do it with this car. I'll have to test it later. Right now I'm happy on the paved roads, and I'm sure there'll eventually be a point where I do something dumb and have to do it with this car. I, just, I guarantee it. All right, right there, that goes to the other island. I don't want to go there quite yet, so we'll go up here. Come on, power, power! There we go, getting some traction. I shouldn't be yelling power. I had enough power. I didn't have enough traction. That was the problem. And uh, now we got the traction. Now I got to make sure I don't crash. We're going to be pretty careful here. And I might be going back to where we started almost. I don't think we'll be driving the exact same road because there's a side path I can take that'll get us to a different location. I just gotta find it. I think I know what it looks like. Let's see here. Is it um, coming up anytime soon? I thought it'd be like right there. There it is. It, it's right after where I thought. At least I think that's the right one. Whoa! Oh, just a light tap. I wanted to say I love you, tree. And give a little uh, bonk with my car because trees love that. I'm pretty sure. If not, I've been wasting a lot of cars crashing them into trees if they don't like it. It would be interesting to know how many trees have I actually crashed into? No idea. Like, in every single video, it has to be in the hundreds, if not thousands, because there'll be videos where I crash into trees multiple times. Ah, uh, that's just crazy to think about. I wonder how AJ's doing with my truck. He probably fixed it. He's like, what happened to YBR? He took my 200 VXs and he disappeared. Ooh, ooh, is this an off-road place? Maybe? Like, it's not really, is it? No. All right, well, you remember what I said earlier where I was just test this as driving in the dirt? We're doing that right now. And my original statement seems to be true. Oh, come on, get up that hill. Yeah, no problem. As long as you avoid the rocks, you can actually navigate the terrain with a uh, not really off-roady vehicle. Oh, we're going to take tyrants. Yep. Radiator damaged. That's not a big problem, though. We keep on driving. I don't need to worry about our damaged radiator. We correct this thing more because I think I see a jump coming up. Although we're coming out of the wrong direction. If this is the jump, I think it is. Like, there's a, a wide landing zone and a thin launch pad yeah this is the wide landing zone and then the launch pad over here is really thin so we're gonna completely miss this well we're actually pretty close now i do want to actually do this but i don't know if i want to use the moonhawk again so why don't we just uh, bring this thing to a stop and then we're gonna swap it out for an etk 800 series and we're gonna get one that's pretty fast we can get the 856 tt sport so not one that's pretty fast it's the fastest stock one there is drive forward a bit and then we're gonna do a quick 180 and I think we want to hit this thing at about 95-ish miles per hour. I mean, it does vary depending on what vehicle you're driving, but 95 is usually a good speed to try out. So we're up to 85 and 95. We're just going to kind of hold that. I know it dropped when we hit the jump. How's it going to land? Nice and smooth. All right. Ooh, mud. All right, let's see if this thing can climb the mud. I, I'm almost certain the answer is going to be no, but we got to give it a shot. Ooh, ooh, come on. Nope. 
if it had mud tires, it could have probably made it, but it doesn't. So we're going to get something that has some more off-road capabilities. I don't want a D-Series. AJ's still working on mine. So I, I get the fire chief and say, fire chief, there's a fire over there. Take me to it and I'll help you put it out. He's like, okay. So now we got to go up this mud and the fire chief is driving here. So he's driving very responsibly through the mud. And I say, the fire is just over this ridge. Go, go, go. And he is doing the best he can. He's not as good off-roader as me. That's why I'm struggling so much. Yes, completely. And then we get to here and I said, look, the fire's across the river. And the fire chief is just mad at me because first off, that's not a river, that's a lake. And secondly, well, how am I supposed to get there? So he stomps off all mad and I take over his vehicle and then I teleport it back to where we were because he would never expect that. And then I drive the same thing again because I was kind of unhappy with the way it went last time. So let's see, go up it this way and that was a lot smoother. There we go. And now we're going to go back down. That's, that's all I wanted to do right here. We'll keep uh, using the fire chief for a little bit more because there's another fun thing we could do with this. Don't crash. Ooh, that was close. Although I really probably should have been more concerned about that jump. That was probably more deadly. I was just concerned about my driving skills betraying me right there. So we're going to drive for a little bit and we'll actually see this pretty cool looking tunnel coming up soon. And I believe it's custom made for this map because I've never seen anything like it before. And we can just barely see it from here. You kind of see there's like this wavy looking structure. That's the tunnel I'm talking about, and we are almost there. Unfortunately, it doesn't do the reverberation like the stock tunnels, but it looks really cool. I mean, look at it. That looks so neat. It's all waving up and down. See, that tunnel is wavy. All right, now that we're through the tunnel, we need to stop, and I want to go over to the water because there's this cool thing we could drive on, although I'm not exactly sure where it is. I think I actually might see it. It's a little bit more ahead of us, so hold on to the sand. We just got to drive along this for a few more feet, and there it is. You can see... There's just some brown in the water. That's actually something you could drive on with enough ground clearance. If you have a sports car, it will drown. If you had a snorkel, it would be no issue whatsoever driving through this. With this one, you gotta stay centered. If you start to sway off a little bit too much, you can still get the engine submerged. So we'll be careful through here. And right there, we're getting a little bit submerged, but it's right up again. Can't go too fast. Water slows you down well. Whoa, getting submerged again. And then up, out of the water, and... We can't get traction here either because sand is hard to get traction in, so we're going to go really slow. Come on, I'm flooring it. Like, it feels so wrong when you're flooring a vehicle and the RPMs are just hanging out, like, uh, under 3,000. It's like, man, don't you got a downshift you can do or something? Anyways, though, we got to slow it down a lot right here so we can find the next one right there. Let me be really, really careful. All right, good. Oh, goodness, we're drowning it. No, we're not. We're good. No, we're drowning it again. Stay out of the water. 70%. Oh, that was getting close. All right, let's just get out of here. Oh, I'm going to hit that tree, aren't I? Yep. I thought I'd be able to make it in one go. I shouldn't have tried. I shouldn't have tried. I called it out and then boop, right in the tree. All right, continuing along, we're going to go to the final area that we're going to be taking a look at, which is this really, 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 really long straightaway. I think that's enough reallys. Eh, yeah, put two more reallys in there, and that's probably about how long it is. So you can just see it on our left side, but uh, you'll be seeing it much better once we do a spin around right here. Got to do a weird maneuver if we wanted to stay on the road. Instead, I'm just going to cut the dirt a little bit and get to the paved area before we swap to the next car I want to do, which is going to be something fast. So SBR4, all-wheel drive, twin turbo, stage two, fits that bill well. And then full speed ahead. And we're just going to be driving for a while, actually, because we're going to get up to probably 180, I would guess, with this car. Maybe even 190. I'm not positive. It is a long road, though. And there is eventually stuff on it. We just got to get there. Gives you lots of time to get up to speed, which I appreciate. So even if you have a slower car, you can get up to speed here. All right, I see something on the left side. That is just kind of like this wall you can kind of ride up on once it gets wide enough. So it looks like that's wide enough. We'll just pop on up there nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. There we go. I noticed the... Uh, ESC was kicking in a little bit, so we're going to turn that off. Now I don't have to worry about that. Now if I spin out, it's all on me. That's worse. So can we get 190? Yep, there's 190, and there is a ramp coming up. We can almost see it at this point. Then now you can clearly see it. And boom, flying on the ramp, 190 miles per hour. And then we got another ramp, which we're hopefully going to hit. Yes. And then we got like this barricade of trees that will just smash your car up. And there is no way that thing is gonna drive. What? It can drive a little bit. Like, I mean, I don't know if I consider this driving because I have zero steering, but it can put power to the rear wheels. That is impressive. 
Like, that is really impressive, but... I can't do anything, so we're just gonna bring it back. And one thing that's kind of interesting is I don't see a way to get back up onto that main road. Like, once you take the jump off, you're stuck down here. Unless, of course, you know, you do a little bit of teleportation. You see I'm driving along the edge right here. And there's no way up! Like, I wouldn't mind a ramp right here or something, but there's nothing there. So what we're gonna do is just gonna unpark this thing right here. Make it lined up the direction I want to go, mostly. Then we'll just teleport it onto the road. And then... Full speed ahead for the final crash because there's another thing at the end of this road. Should be able to go once again about 180 miles per hour. And you also noticed I did turn ESC on because I was kind of sliding a bit. I was like, no, I'm not going to spin out and then because I didn't have ESC on. So I said, let's just put it on. And I always want to call it ECS. I don't know why. It just sounds nicer to say ECS than ESC. But it wouldn't make sense. What is electronic control stability? I guess it does kind of make sense. Anyways, the crash right here. It's gonna smush it down to like a uh, pointy nose. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, drive shaft's broken, so it's not gonna be able to drive at all. So that'll do it for this video. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.